Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing, man? Antonelli here. Today, we're talking about the golf swing and does the golf swing mess up your baseball swing? This is something you've probably heard. If you're a baseball player or parent or coach, you've probably heard this for a really long time. Um, and in my experience, is it true? Have I seen this kind of happen where golf swings mess up baseball swings? So let's get into it. Before we do, uh, today's video is powered by Triton. We use Triton jerseys and gear with our Antonelli baseball teams. We've worn them for a while now. They do a great job. Go and check their stuff out. Uh, CustomBaseballJerseys.com. You'll be able to see exactly what they do. I highly recommend that they do a great job. Okay, so um, the golf swing and the baseball swing. You hear this all the time. At least I do. Put in the comment section below if you've heard this. Hopefully, I, I think everybody has heard this. Um, I didn't play really, I didn't play any golf when I was younger, and it was always because I was afraid that it was going to screw up my baseball swing, right? I didn't actually start golfing a little bit until my baseball swing was so screwed up that I was like, well, what does it really matter? I can't screw it up anymore. Let's go golf. Um, and then I realized I stunk at golf. So I was like, forget golf. Maybe I'll go back to trying to figure out my baseball swing. Um, so I've actually, I've seen this both ways, okay? And let's just say this. I don't know if there's any scientific data out there that says, yes, it absolutely screws it up or not. Uh, but I know that I've seen it both ways. So I've seen a lot of baseball players that um, have great swings, guys that have been all-stars, guys that just absolutely rake baseballs, and they go out and play golf all the time. And clearly has no effect on their baseball swing. Doesn't hurt it at all. Maybe it helps it. Maybe that was my problem. I should have played more golf. Um, but especially in spring training, you see this a lot. Usually when spring training practice ends and you're getting ready for the game, like pitchers that don't play in the game, go golfing. And position guys that aren't starting that day, that day go golfing. Like everyone, it's like, okay, practice is over. And it's either, yeah, you're going to go get ready to play in the game or you're going to go golf. Okay. And it's, it's a lot of pitchers because those got, you know, a lot of pitchers don't play in a lot of the games. So they go golf, but it's a lot of position guys that aren't playing that day. They go golf too. Okay. And again, it's a lot of really good players, major league players that go in, that they're going and they're golfing. Now you'll see some guys that say that don't golf and they're just like either, yeah, I don't like golf or, you know, I'm not golfing during the baseball season. Um, and again, it's usually because they think it might screw up their swing. Uh, so you see it kind of both ways. Now, I've also seen some golfers, and, and this, is, this happens more, especially at the younger levels, like now that I'm coaching, I work with a lot of baseball players that also golf. So you see some guys that golf in the fall for their high school team, and then they play baseball in the spring. And I'll work with a lot of guys in lessons where, you know, we'll start working and I'll look at their swing and be like, hey, do you play golf? And usually when I say like, hey, do you play golf? I almost 100% of the time I get it right. Like I've never been like, hey, do you golf? And then be like, no, I don't golf. Why? Every time I say, do you golf? Like, yep, I golf. Because I can see certain movements in their swing that looks a little bit more like a golf movement and not a baseball movement. So the two things that I'll usually see is guys that kind of get more forward so they'll hit like more off of their front leg. And in baseball, usually the things we're working on is getting into the back hip and staying behind the ball more, having a little bit of a deeper turn. And so you'll see that with some guys right off the bat. I notice it right away. And, I'm, and once I see them getting to the front leg really early, moving forward, I ask them, do you golf? Yep, all the time. So you definitely see that. And that's a move that will work, that we have to try to change for baseball. The other thing is, I'll see uh, typically golfers will move more up in their swing, whereas in baseball, we're trying to work into the ground and drive down. Um, and so that's another thing that I'll see. And again, I pick it out right away. So um, this is where I see it both ways. Again, I see some great play baseball players that golf, and they're able to transition back and forth and have a golf swing and have a baseball swing. And then you'll see some players, usually a little bit younger player, where you'll really see a golf swing in kind of bleeding over into their baseball swing. 
and we've got to work on a couple of things. Now, if they didn't golf, they probably wouldn't have those issues, right? They'd probably be able to concentrate a little bit more on the baseball swing and not have to jump back and forth. Some guys can do it. Some guys can't. Some guys need help. So it goes both ways. Um, but I wanted to throw this out there because I, I do get asked this question a lot. And I don't, like I said, there's no, I can't say, yeah, it screws up your swing because I've seen a lot of guys where it doesn't. And I've seen young kids too that play golf and play baseball and it doesn't screw it up. Um, but I have seen some that it does. And I don't want to say screws it up, but you'll see some of those golf aspects of the swing kind of making their way over to the baseball part of it. And then we've got to work on a couple of things to kind of get that out of there just to sure up their movements and sure up their swing a little bit for baseball. So hopefully that helps you guys out and answers your question. Let me know in the comment section below. If you have any more questions, any ideas for videos, please put them down there and I will try to get you guys some answers and shoot out some videos. Uh, share the video with all your friends, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Check the description box below. We got stuff down there as well. And that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you later.